Greetings, salutations, welcome back to my channel. I'm Gabby. Hi! If you see light, it's from the window. The window is closed, like the blinds are closed. I can't help that the sun is blooming this 7 a.m. morning and doesn't want to get away. I can't help that, okay? And I apologize. I tried my best. It's just going to have to do with them. Okay. If you're new here, hi. Just subscribe if you are a series regular here, if you haven't yet. And if you are a series regular here and you are subscribed, from now on, that is the subscribers' names. Thank you. So if you are a series regular here, thank you so much for all your support. And if you aren't and you have been coming here consistently and you still haven't pushed that like button or share, subscribe, whatever, I do appreciate you too. I appreciate every single person that has been viewing this channel that has been coming here consistently and just who's been supporting me. And it really does help and it counts and you matter. If you're not following my socials, my TikTok and my Instagram are down below. Go ahead and go do that, please. Just go do that. So as you can see by the title, I will be talking about different fashion aesthetics. And the reason being is I really dwelled into the rabbit hole of aesthetics when I was finding my style. I have come across a lot of good ones and a lot of ones that should be around. And I wanted to dwell into a few of them because, you know, I just really hope this helps some of you. If you're, you're lost and you don't know like what your style is and you're just not sure. I really hope this video helps and that's why I'm making it because these videos helped me find my style. So I want to pass on the baton to you guys. Thank you. So out of all the aesthetics that I've came across that I've learned about, a few of them did jump out at me. I was like, whoa, like, I can see myself wearing this, but would I actually wear it though? So here are some aesthetics that I like, but would never wear. <laughs> Disclaimer, I'm not going to get into the lack of diversity within these aesthetics. I'm just going to talk about the styles, okay? Strictly the clothing. I'm not getting into all that jibber jabber. We all know there's a lack of diversity. Well, I hope we all know that there's a lack of diversity in the fashion world. Like whenever I go on Pinterest, I shouldn't have to put black girl at the end of every search thingy so strictly we're talking about the style we're not going into history this isn't a history class they got other creators for that so thank you i have my ipad right here because i film with my phone and i have like the aesthetics already popped up so i could just read to I, i'll get to it okay so the first aesthetic that we're gonna get into this one is fairly new recent i don't know this is the downtown girl aesthetic Downtown Girl is an aesthetic that revolves around the Roman. Rom what the hell? Oh, okay. Romantiz romantiz romanticization. <laughs> romanticization of living in downtown New York, especially in autumn. It contrasts the Uptown Girl aesthetic and originated on Pinterest, later spread into TikTok. It is often grouped with coquette. That's a different fashion aesthetic due to common features such as Lana Del Rey music and Brandy Melville clothing, but it has different clothing style and a different color scheme. Key colors that is included in the style, black, white, beige, red, and brown. People be taking styles, the same shit, giving it a different names and sprinkle a little subtle difference in them and call them a different aesthetic. I prefer the street style side of it. You know, the, the bomber jacket, the leather jacket, the leather pants, the black boots, the Doc Martens, even though I don't have a pair of Doc Martens because I can't see myself wearing those. It's not really my style. Now they do have a little, little feminist side, you know, the people in them damn skirts and you know, their little sweaters, it's so cute. Whenever I think of downtown girl, whenever someone tells me, oh, I really love the downtown girl aesthetic, I think of the damn pants, leather jacket, and boots. So whenever I think of the downtown girl aesthetic, I think of fall, just like that leather jacket look. Like this is this is it right here. I like that. It's a little mix of Y2K in there, but that's what fashion aesthetics are. They literally combine different aesthetics and call it something else. <laughs> 
literally what it is. Like we're literally recycling fashion, but we're just making it into subcultures and sub whatever. But yeah, whenever you look up downtown girl aesthetic on Pinterest, you'll see like a mix of summery options and fall but i'm paying more attention to the fall aspect of it i think it's really cute i think it's kind of grungy a little bit you know the dark colors like the red and the greens damn that outfit's fire what i do have with some of these aesthetics is the lack of diversity um i shouldn't have to look a black girl next to the aesthetic to get a better idea yeah like your big jackets your doc martens your platform loafers you're, if you hear clicking, it's because I'm saving some of these photos to my thing so I can like put them in the video. I just like how you can do too much and you can do too little. Like you can be a minimalist with it or you can just be over the top with it, whichever, whichever you prefer. Like it doesn't take much effort to dress like that. But I also feel that it's a combination of a lot of the aesthetics. So it's kind of not that special. But if you like it, hey, go ahead go do it is it is cute like it does look good but key west kitten well also known as coconut girl in malibu barbie but we're gonna call it the coconut girl because i kind of it fits the term better like key west kitten i don't know okay okay so it centers around the nymphette interpretation of tropical beaches typically associated with florida from the 1960s to the 2000s it creates an atmosphere that expresses the femininity and youth associated with young women vacationing during summertime key colors <laughs> pastel colors pink blue yellow are especially popular i love this i love the color scheme i just love how bright and it's just so vacation-y, like it makes me want to go to a summer vacation. If you want to wear like bright colors in fall and winter, yeah, you can do that too. But I, uh, I don't know. I do have plans this summer, so I might like go <laughs> into this aesthetic during summer. It's so cute, like how could you not like it? Unless you don't like bright colors or whatever, but it's very beachy, giving me H2O. It reminds me of the movie Aquamarine. Just fun in the sun. But again, I need to look up black girl next to it because they ain't showing no black people. Ugh. I'm trying to add more colors to my closet. It's very, you know, I said I stick to neutrals. And if I do venture out with different colors, I, I am picky. But this summer, like, I want to be colorful because I am going somewhere. But it's kind of difficult if you're used to wearing neutral colors, especially if you're into, like, minimalist capsule wardrobe. It's kind of difficult to get out of that bubble. But I'm trying. I'm trying. I just bought a little uh, bikini. It's hot pink. Y'all gonna see. I'm gonna do like a haul or something in March. I got a spring haul coming soon. So y'all need to be on the lookout for that. Anyways, let's get back to it. It's a vibe. Like whenever I look at the coconut girl aesthetic, I'm tired of this damn sun. Whenever I look at the aesthetic, I feel things. I feel good. It's, I feel like I'm having a fun time. I like the name coconut girl better than Key West Kitten. It just, Key West Kitten? It kind of makes me cringe a little bit whenever I hear it. Um, what's Surf Crush? Because it has related, okay, Surf Crush. See, again, y'all be coming up with shit that be the same shit as the other shit. In this winky profile thingy, they got all like the related aesthetics to it. They got Surf Crush, Barbie Core, Tropical, Vacation Dad Core. What the hell is that? Oh, oh jump scare. Oh, okay, that's for the dads. Vacation dad core. All right, we're, we're not gonna get into that one. I would definitely wear this, but it's gonna be for summer, ma'am. Summer, strictly. <laughs> but yeah, it's really cute and I really do like it. And I, it's probably like one of my favorite ones. It's probably one of my top three. These last two aesthetics that I'm gonna talk about were my main inspiration for the style that I have now. It's the old money aesthetic. It's an aesthetic based around a wealthy classic style. Old money refers to people who have inherited their wealth instead of working for it. Old money is associated with titles of nobility. Okay. Key colors, beige, brown, pink, black, white, blue, green. Um, I beg to differ. I think a lot of like the old money aesthetic the people, they stick to neutral colors because neutral colors are seen more as luxe. Now you have like your overly old money clothing like I'm gonna put pictures up there but what I'm trying to talk about is the simple clothing like this like that that's what I'm talking about now if you want to dress like this go ahead but I'm not talking about that this was the inspiration for me with my style like 
Oh, I love that. That luxe preppy style is not hard to replicate, duplicate, I don't know the name of it, but it's not hard to do that. Now, some people might say, oh, that's kind of boring. Okay, and that's you. I like minimal things. <laughs> I just like that. To me, less is more. Whenever I look at this, I, I just get a vibe. I'm like, damn, I need to be on somebody yacht right now. Like, damn, wearing a flowy white dress. Damn. Wait, I've been obsessed with white lately. I've been doing summer shopping early, especially bikinis. You need to shop for your bikinis now if you have it. Unless you're like flat chested, then it'll be easier. But if you have a bigger bust, you need to get your bikinis now. I hate when I really like an item and it sells out and they take forever to stock it back up. And by the time it stocks, summer is over. I don't like that, okay? That preppy, chic, luxurious, I don't know, it's, it's giving Gossip Girl. I mean, a lot of the stuff that they were wearing in that show was ugly, but it's like the idea behind it. If you've watched Gossip Girl, you can't tell me that what they had Serena and Blair wearing was cute. A lot of their outfits were hit and miss. I just think people like the idea behind the outfits, not the outfits in itself. Cause y'all know y'all will never wear half of that shit they had on. I wouldn't cause I didn't think they were cute. And that the, the fact that they were rich and whenever you're rich, you can do whatever you want. It, I think it was that. But yeah, that preppy, chic, classy look, your beiges, your whites, your navies, um, a little bit of reds, like bright reds. Old Money is really one of the few aesthetics that you can do all year. So it's very versatile. A lot of white flowy dresses, white mini dresses, just like your classic colors and your classic styles. I just love it. It's very simple, very easy to dress up and down with. I feel that if you want a capsule wardrobe that's minimal, check out the old money aesthetic. I just love it. <laughs> I mean, there is ways to dress for it in fall and winter, like very simple ways. But I feel like summer, that's where it's at. That's where you go all out. Even though their outfits are still basic and minimal, Summer, that's where you, you do the most. That's where you do it. This is Dark Academia. Dark Academia is an internet aesthetic and subculture concerned with higher education, the arts, and literature, or an idealized version thereof. The aesthetic centers on traditional educational clothing, interior design, activities such as writing poetry, ancient art, classic literature, as well as classical Greek and collegiate Gothic art. Okay, look, we're not getting into all that. We're getting into the fucking clothes, the style, the clothing. Jesus, I love this aesthetic so much. And it is similar to old money, except you're wearing more of your browns, your um, your darker colors, you know, hence dark academia. I feel like this aesthetic is more catered to like, you know, fall, winter. Cause when I look at these aesthetics, I look at, can I wear these in multiple places, multiple seasons? It's giving Harry Potter. I never seen Harry Potter, but like I, everybody knows what Hogwarts looks like. That's what it's giving. Like I go to Hogwarts. You can tell that the vibe is focused on education, you know, reading and all that. And I don't do all that, but still, you know, not too many form fitting clothing, you know, very loose, a lot of layers. Cause I mean, this aesthetic is kind of catered to fall and winter. There are some people that commit to these aesthetics. You can gain inspiration, but do it in your own way. If you guys want a part two to this video, then I can do a part two, it's no problem. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. If you're not yet subscribed, you need to subscribe. And if you haven't watched my how to find your personal style video, you need to go do that.